What if we are not the first? We look at our galaxy, the Milky Way, with its estimated 100 billion stars. Statistically, even the most conservative models suggest that billions of Earth-like planets could exist, and yet the scientific community uh, remains stubbornly resistant to looking for the evidence. Uh, they prefer to look for rocks. But what happens when the data shows something that is not a rock? Uh, this week, we received data that is truly extraordinary. Somewhere beyond the orbit of Venus, an object from another star system, 3i divided by Atlas, drifts silently through the dark. For months, it was dismissed just as Oumuamua was as a comet, a frozen wanderer moving predictably through the solar wind. But this week, something extraordinary happened. Uh, NASA released new telescope images of 3i divided by Atlas. And for the first time, we have seen its true shape. What the James Webb Space Telescope captured has left scientists stunned because this interstellar object doesn't look like anything nature is known to produce. Its geometry, its symmetry, even the way it reflects light. Everything about it suggests an origin we cannot yet explain with simple geology. Now, here is what is so strange. 3i divided by Atlas is an interstellar visitor hurtling through our solar system on a trajectory that defied easy explanation. At first, astronomers assumed they always assume it was just another icy body like Oumuamua or Borisov before it, fragments from other systems passing by. But when the Webb telescope's infrared sensors locked onto it in early October, something did not add up. Its surface was not random or rough. It was patterned from over 240 million miles away, Webb's high-resolution data reveals straight lines, not jagged cliffs or cratered ice, but angles, clear, repeating, symmetrical edges. This is not the signature of a tumbling piece of ice. This is the signature of precision. We must ask, what natural process known to physics results in straight-edged polygonal reflective facets on an object traveling between stars? The answer is simple, none. When we see a straight line in the jungle, we do not assume it was carved by the wind. We assume it was carved by intelligence. Why should we apply a different standard to the cosmos? Even stranger, uh, the object was not spherical like a typical comet nucleus nor was it elongated like Oumuamua. 3i divided by Atlas appears to have a flattened, almost polygonal shape with what NASA describes as reflective panel-like facets. The moment this image hit NASA's servers, scientists across the globe went silent. One researcher at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory described it simply, this isn't what nature does. And yet, there it was. Uh, floating in the void, a perfect enigma. So what could it be? To answer that, we must follow the data. Uh, the Webb telescope operates in infrared, which means it does not just see light, it sees heat. And when uh, the data was processed, astronomers noticed something incredible. Certain parts of 3i divided by Atlas were absorbing heat differently than others, as if it had sections made of metal or some heat-resistant compound. The temperature variations were too extreme for an ordinary icy comet. Some areas were nearly reflective, shining with the same spectral properties as polished alloys. Others were cold, dark, and unreactive. If this sounds familiar, it is because this is exactly what we saw before. When Oumuamua passed through in 2017, it too displayed odd reflectivity and, crucially, non-gravitational acceleration. It pushed away from the sun as if it were being pushed by light itself. But 3i divided by Atlas goes a step further. Its geometry is not just odd. The data suggests it is deliberate. And here is where the real mystery deepens. Using data from both Webb and the Hubble Space Telescope, NASA built a 3D model of the object's rotation. To everyone's astonishment, 
3 I divided by Atlas rotates not randomly, but rhythmically, as though balancing itself with precision. The rotation period is almost exactly 9.7 hours, and it maintains that spin despite solar radiation pressure and gravitational tugs. This is a critical data point. Most comets and asteroids tumble chaotically through space. This one corrects itself, as though stabilizing. This is known in engineering as attitude control. It is a hallmark of a functioning piece of technology, not a passive rock. When you combine that stability with its geometric shape and unusual reflectivity, it starts to look engineered. Now, let's be clear. NASA has not claimed it is artificial. The official statement, the safe uh, political statement, simply says, we cannot yet determine the origin of its symmetry, but behind the scenes, the data is forcing the conversation. Teams at MIT, Caltech, and my own colleagues at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics are quietly exploring the exotic possibilities. My own analysis of this new data points to something astonishing, something that mirrors what I argued with Oumuamua. The ratio of three, uh, I divided by Atlas's surface area, to its mass indicates it could be incredibly thin, perhaps less than a millimeter thick in some regions. This is not a guess. It is an inference from the physics uh, that thinness would explain its strange light behavior and also suggest it might be a kind of sail, a light sail, imagine that. A massive ancient sheet gliding between the stars, pushed gently by the pressure of starlight itself, not a rock, but a relic, a messenger built by an intelligence long before us. If that idea seems provocative, I ask you, why? We must be willing to follow the data even if it makes us uncomfortable, but let us consider the alternative as history demands. When the first pulsar was discovered in 1967, it emitted radio pulses so regular that scientists labeled it LGM-1, Little Green Man, they thought it was an alien beacon. It turned out to be something profound, a neutron star spinning with clock-like precision. Perhaps three, I divided by Atlas, is another such gift. Perhaps it is a new kind of natural phenomenon, something our physics does not yet understand. This is the safe explanation. Still, it is irresponsible to ignore the coincidences, the geometry, the stability, the thinness, the metallic reflective surface, the light signal that NASA recorded weeks earlier pulsing in precise intervals before this image was captured. And now, uh, these new photographs showing what appears to be order emerging from chaos. This is the core of the scientific method. When one anomaly appears, it may be noise. When multiple anomalies all point to the same single unconventional explanation, it becomes a hypothesis worth testing. It almost feels like the universe is trying to tell us something if only we would listen to the data instead of our prejudices. For those of you who remember the golden days of the Apollo program or the first time the Voyager spacecraft turned its camera back to take the pale blue dot, you might recall that same feeling, that tingle of awe that silence when you realize how small and yet how connected we are to the stars, three, I divided by Atlas, reignites that feeling. It is not just an astronomical discovery, it is a philosophical one. Because if this object truly is artificial, then we are not the first civilization to build something that travels between worlds. Someone or something out there has already achieved what we only dream of, touching the stars. And if it is natural, then the laws of the universe are more creative, more artistic than we ever imagined. Uh, the cosmos, it seems, loves symmetry. From snowflakes to galaxies to whatever three I divided by Atlas turns out to be. Uh, NASA's latest computer models now suggest that three I divided by Atlas may have a hollow core, a cavity or pocket that reflects heat differently from the rest of its surface. This is what the data implies. Some speculate this void could once have been a storage chamber or perhaps the remains of a propulsion cavity. 
this is speculation, of course, but so was flight one, so was landing on the moon. So was the idea that rocks could fall from the sky. Science advances by challenging consensus. Uh, the web team plans another deep infrared scan in a few weeks when 3i divided by Atlas reaches its closest point to the Sunday. If it is truly a light cell, the increased solar pressure must cause a measurable acceleration, a telltale signature that would confirm once and for all that it is not a rock, but something dynamic designed to move. Imagine the implications. A structure drifting across the interstellar void for thousands, perhaps millions of years, surviving the cold, the radiation, the emptiness. Um, it would mean we are living in a galaxy filled not only with stars, but with relics, messages in bottles cast into the ocean of time. It would mean the galaxy is not a sterile void, but a cosmic neighborhood filled with artifacts, and we are just the new kids on the block. If this all sounds like science fiction, Remember, so did the idea of gravitational waves or black holes or exoplanets just a few decades ago. The universe has a way of turning imagination into evidence. Perhaps someday our descendants will send out similar saves, sheets of light and metal carrying the story of Earth to other worlds. Maybe three I divided by Atlas is proof that someone else already did. But there is another uh, quieter interpretation one that the consensus prefers because it is safer, that maybe this symmetry we are seeing is not technology, but beauty. A cosmic sculpture carved by time itself, shaped by forces we are only beginning to comprehend. The universe has always had an artist's touch, they say. From the glowing arcs of nebulae to the fractal perfection of spiral galaxies, Maybe three, I divided by Atlas, is just another masterpiece in that grand gallery. But this interpretation, while poetic, ignores the data. A sculpture does not have attitude control. A sculpture does not have the mass to surface area ratio of a sail. We must not confuse poetry with physics. The data is pointing us away from geology and toward technology. Still, one cannot help but wonder. Why now? Why here? Out of billions of years of cosmic history, why are we, this generation, witnessing this? An interstellar visitor revealing a shape that challenges every assumption we have about matter in motion. Is it coincidence or is it an invitation to grow up? When Voyager 1 crossed the boundary of the solar system, it carried a gold record, a message of greetings from Earth, we hoped someone, someday, might find it. Maybe three, I divided by Atlas is another civilization's voyager uh, sent long ago, crossing oceans of light, carrying knowledge we cannot yet decode. And maybe, just maybe, this encounter is mutual. A handshake across time. So I ask you, is three, I divided by Atlas a natural wonder, or is it an artifact of intelligence beyond Earth? The answer matters. The lesson here is not just about astronomy, it is about humility. For centuries we have placed ourselves at the center of the universe, biologically and intellectually. We have suffered from a profound failure of imagination, assuming that if we cannot imagine it, it must not exist. Uh, these objects, Oumuamua, and now three I divided by Atlas, are forcing us to abandon that arrogance. The true value of this discovery is that it challenges our most fundamental assumptions. It teaches us that to find the truth, we must be willing to look for it, even when the data points to conclusions that are uncomfortable, extraordinary, or profound. We must not be afraid to ask the biggest questions. What do you think the data is telling us? What is the most logical explanation for this collection of anomalies? Let me know your analysis in the comments below. We must have this conversation because the scientific community is often too conservative to lead it. And if you believe in following the data, no matter where it leads, subscribe to this channel. We are just learning how to listen.